What's up guys, welcome to the channel. This video, we're gonna break down three tips for you guys to improve your grass volleyball game. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Tip number one, it's really important on defense to focus on being in the balls of your feet. As you can see here, Roger does a great job of getting his body in an athletic stance. So he's gonna shuffle, get in a good stance, nice and low, keep his arms in front of him, and make a play on this ball. And that's gonna get you a dig probably seven out of 10 times just from be being in good positions, staying low, and keeping your hands in front of you. Here's another example of getting your body in a good position. Anna's backpedaling and shuffles into a good spot and gets her hands out in front of her and makes a good touch on the ball. Even though the ball doesn't get enough hang time, to get a second touch on it. She still makes a great defensive effort here on a hard driven ball and makes a positive contact. And really on defense, that's all you're looking for is to get the ball in the air, make something happen. Here's another example of why it's important to be on the balls of your feet and on your toes on defense. As Casey is able to find a shortcut shot because Ali is standing straight up, not on the balls of his feet, not in, not in an athletic position unable to make this dig it's really a small difference but if you are ready to dig ready to go ready to move you'll be able to get this ball number two is driving to the ball in this example you can see that the set was in front of me i was able to identify it and see it and then take two quick steps and really make a good attack on it and that's really the big key when it comes to attacking you want to get momentum and you want to drive your body and your arms and your swing through the ball and put it where you want it to go. Here's another example of Anna on an inside set, driving to the ball, getting her body there, quick last two steps and is able to make good contact. And Ali does the same thing here in this play, another inside set, but he's quick to it, drives through it and is able to put the ball away. All right, number three, angling your platform. You can see here, Anna does a great job of shuffling to the right, getting her platform in front of her and angling her target to the setter. That's what we're looking for on serve receive, angling your platform, getting it square and really letting the ball do the work and moving it to the setter. If you can get your platform set, angled to where you wanna go, it's really gonna make things a lot easier in serve receive. All those people that have struggles in serve receive, trying to get square to this position right here, where your feet are set and your platform is angled to the target, this is what we're looking for. Here's another example, Abby, with a really textbook pass here. She's down, she's athletic, and she's angling her, her platform to the target and makes a great pass. And here's one last example of why it's important to angle your platform. Sometimes you can't always be square to the ball if it shifts. So I raise my foot to get a better angle towards my target. And as you can see, it's gonna end up with a good result for the setter and the attacker. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed these three tips. Make sure to apply them to your game and happy volleyball. Later. Rookie, I tell her look up cause it's snowing in tussies But for three years, man, you did it It's okay, it's okay Woo! The Army, the Navy, and Remy 10,000 I do it like Brady Born in yellow like Tracy and Katie I trust in my n****, they never betray me